Folks, we're live here with Richard Myers, who's one of the best chefs on the Grand Strand from what I've heard. Well, thank you. That's I mean, what they say. We're at Creek Rats right on the creek. Beautiful view. I mean, a lot of people on the deck today. We're going to have a little background noise, but we've got a great recipe for you. Mm -hmm. What we're we going to have, Richard? We're going to do a whole red snapper. We're going to cook it on the grill with some fresh lemon, fresh oregano, and olive oil. Well, you got I me. Mean, you got the grill right now about 375 to 450. Yeah, as hot as it can be. Hot as it can be. Yep. Well, let's get started. Let's get started then. First thing we do is, is this what you caught? Yep, that's one we caught the other day. We're gonna take it, this one's already been gutted. The scales have been removed and I trimmed off the fins. We're just gonna take the red snapper, put some marks on it so the meat cooks faster without losing any moisture. Fresh lemon. This is the simplest way to grill. It's the freshest way to cook your seafood without losing the integrity of the fish. And how can you beat fresh herbs and fresh citrus? Now, where do you get all these recipes, Rich? From you, Harry. <laughs> come on. <laughs> they come as you work. You know, everything, everybody can be trained to do a job, but the more you do it, the better you get at it. And you find ways, you spend a lot of years, you know, developing recipes, and then the rest of your life figuring out that you still want to taste the food, so you don't want everything too heavy on there. Now, actually, you're one of the co-owners right here at Creek Rats. Creek Rats right? in Merle's Inlet, yes. And you're also a chef at uh, Dockside next door. Dockside Restaurant next door, yep. Super food, that's excellent. I mean, we got a Viking grill right here, outdoor grill. I've had this grill for over 10 years. It's been on the ocean front. Uh, PCW, Eddie Parker and the guys, they provided this grill with Vi well, through Viking. And it's, uh -huh. it's awesome. I mean, Viking I spent a little good. bit of money on the burners, you know, replacing them after about seven years. But, uh -huh. uh, it's been a great machine. Viking grill is a good piece of equipment. If you want something to last long in your backyard, that's the way to go. Now, where do we get these little uh, grilling plates? Well, you can buy these at any store, you know, a family outlet store in the area. I mean, if you mention names, I mean, a Walmart, a Kmart, your fishing store, your local bait and tackle shop will have these. And are you going to cook this fish approximately how long? We're going to cook that fish for about 12 minutes, six minutes on each side. Now, this is called a Vermilion snapper or a bee mm -hmm. liner. Yep. But mm -hmm. you can do black bass or anything like this. Black bass, do anything like that. If you have a sticky grill, this is the way to go. If you have wide grates on your thing, this is the way to go. You can cook anything here. You put clams, mussels, any kind of seafood you catch out there. Black bass is outrageous this way. Best way to go. Just going to put a little bit of olive oil on it to get it started. It's already got the lemon and the oregano on it. There's no marinating, no nothing. That's about as fresh as you can get right there. That just lays up on the grill. You see it flare up just a little bit. We're gonna leave it sit there for a minute. When the flaring goes down, we're gonna move it into its resting place. So how long will you cook it on each side like this? I'll go about six minutes on each side. Now, what are we going to have along with this, Richard? What do you, what do you like to well, serve with it? Today we're going to go real simple. We're just going to grill some asparagus off, maybe a little bit of roasted pepper, whatever's laying around the house. Right. You know, most people that come from the boat don't go to the store, so the easiest thing is to go to your refrigerator and see what you have, whatever's the freshest. Rub it down with a little olive oil, a little salt and pepper, and grill it about halfway. When the fish is about halfway done, put your vegetables on. That sounds great. We're going to serve that about the same way. Okay, the flaring's down now, so we're going to let that rest and sit there and go ahead and keep on cooking. And if you want, like we said, we'll do a little bit of... Um, red pepper with it on the side maybe a little piece of yellow just to sweeten it up and like I said again just a little bit of olive oil on it got Salt a little pepper. bit of background noise back here today creek rats starting to get packed for lunch starting to get a little bit busy today a little busy which that's a good thing mm -hmm. always is let's do that let's put these up on the grill also let's do a little charred lemon Take a lemon, that way when the dish is done, we can take this charred lemon and squeeze it right over the top of the fish. So we're going to grill that lemon at the same time. And that's about it. Now you go enjoy your company, you relax, you talk about what you did all day, all those stories you tell about fishing. <laughs> <laughs> and are you going to shut the lid for a little while and let I, it kind of... I'd go ahead and shut the lid a little bit and just let it go ahead and start smoking up in there, get a little bit more intense flavor into the flesh of the meat. We'll be right back. We're going to let the fish just cook a little bit and flip it over and bring it back and you're going to bring put it, it back. on a plate. We're going to put it on a plate, we're going to serve it up and hopefully eat it. That'll be great. We're back live right at Creek Rats uh, restaurant here, Richard. Tell uh -huh. us a little bit about Creek Rats as far as the entertainment, nighttime, and the, the boardwalk and everything. Well, Creek Rats is located in Merrill's Inlet, South Carolina. We have live entertainment five nights a week with mostly mostly local bands, shag, rhythm and blues, whatnot. Um, stays pretty busy. Uh, the customers and the locals enjoy it. The marsh walk is right here. If you're up from a drink and you want a little exercise, you walk up and down the marsh walk, look at the fishing boats, you know, talk to the other locals around here. It's just a great place to be. That's why I live here. I love it. Yep. I mean, mm -hmm. our food's about ready. Let's bring yep. it on. Out and take a okay. peek at it. Let's take a peek at it and see if she's ready. Everything looks good. We got our grilled 
little bit of yellow pepper, a little bit of red pepper. We're going to keep it light today. And this is the fish. She's done. It's all Man, flavored up. Beautiful. It's a beautiful way to cook a piece of fish. No fuss, no muss. Just take it, turn it over right onto your plate. Oh, makes a little bit of a mess there. Wipe that up. We'll take some of that charred lemon we had charred on the grill also. And just put a little fresh squeeze right on top. Get right on the plate. And there you have it, right there. Another great recipe from Creek Rats, uh, uh -huh. Dockside. And, uh, mm -hmm. Thank you for being with me today. Thanks, Harry. It's great to see you. I always love cooking with you. I learn something every time I come out. That's but, good. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the show. We'll see you next week on Southern Saltwater. Let's cook something else. Okay. <laughs>